Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely, and we are in another day of the Move with Keely series. Today, we're going to be working on full body, but we're going to be on all fours the whole time. You don't need any equipment, and this workout is for all fitness levels. Let's get started. All right, let's jump into this warm up. We're going to start on all fours, and we're going to do a cat. Cow. We're gonna start on all fours, palms on the ground, leaning forward, flat back, and then we're gonna bend and raise that back, inhaling, and then we're gonna exhale. Into the cow, looking up as we do it. Nice arch in the back, pushing those hips back, pushing through, making sure we lock those elbows again. Bending, inhaling. And exhaling, looking up. Next, we've got kneeling hip circles. Again, we're gonna get into that all fours position. Good, and then we're gonna swivel around, pushing those hip back, hips, pushing those hips back. We're only gonna go in one direction. Working your wrists and working your hips. You can get loose with it. It doesn't have to be as strict. You can kind of move side to side, roll your head, loosen up your neck. Really get into it. Make sure you're breathing. Again, pushing those hips all the way back. All right, we're ready to go in the opposite direction this time. Pushing back, opening up those hips, rolling forward, moving your wrists, really stretching it out, loosening up, relaxing. Awesome job. Making sure you push those hips back. Again, if you feel any tenderness under your knees, you can roll up a towel and place it under your mat. Awesome job. All right, now we're gonna go into child pose. You're gonna start on your knees. You're going to come on to all fours. You're going to spread your knees a little bit wider than the hips and you're gonna bring your toes together. And then you're gonna push your hips back as you stretch out and you will lay your head down on the mat and relax. You're stretching out your shoulders. You're stretching out your hips. Sitting back into the pose, again, your knees are wide and your toes are touching. Inhaling and exhaling the whole time, stretching out those shoulders, really relax into the pose. All right, let's dive into the workout. We're gonna start with some diaphragmatic breathing. We're gonna inhale through our nose, raise our shoulders, expand our stomach and release our pelvic floor. Hold it, and then we're gonna exhale, pushing our stomach in and squeezing that pelvic floor, lowering our shoulders, exhaling through our mouth and nose. All right, let's get started. Excellent job. You wanna make sure that you're inhaling through your nose, raising your shoulders, expanding your stomach, releasing that pelvic floor. Try and hold it for a second or two, and then exhaling through your nose and mouth, lowering your shoulders, compressing your stomach, using your abs, and then squeezing that pelvic floor. Let's dive into this bird dog. We're gonna start on all fours, elbows are locked. We're gonna lift our left hand and our right foot simultaneously using our core, okay? We're gonna inhale and exhale, bringing everything up, 
inhaling while everything is down and exhaling while you lift your limbs. Okay. We're gonna alternate lifting your left arm, right foot, and then your right arm, left foot. Again, keeping your balance. You don't wanna wobble while you're doing this. You wanna use your core to maintain your balance. And the only thing that's moving are your arms and legs, okay? Next up, we've got fire hydrants. We're only gonna do one leg at a time. Let's get started. Again, on all fours, and you're going to lift your left knee up as high as you can. Try and get it up to your hip, and then bring it back down. The key is going to be not moving any other body parts other than your leg. You don't want to lean, you don't want to rock, you want to lock those elbows, bring that knee up, and bring it back down. All right, it's time to do the other leg. Same concept, you want to lock those elbows out, bring that knee up as high as you can while not rocking your body. You wanna try and keep your body as still as possible as you're lifting and lowering that knee. Now, as you do the second leg, you're really going to feel it. And if you don't feel it, then you wanna do a little kick out on this round because that means you weren't working hard enough. Now we have plank around the world, but we're going to modify it. If you have diastasis recti, I suggest you stay on all fours. If you do not, feel free to go into that plank position. But today I'm going to demonstrate on my knees. So we're gonna lift one limb at a time, going all the way around. Now, I know this looks simple, but again, you wanna make sure you're not rocking your body, you're keeping everything still, you're only moving one limb at a time as you go around in a circle. Great job. And remember to breathe. We're gonna go into a donkey pick over again on all fours. You're gonna extend one leg out straight and kick it up and over. Awesome job, keeping that leg stiff. Again, trying not to move the rest of your body. You're only moving the limb that is going up and over. Awesome work. All right, now you know we gotta do the other side. Extend that left leg out if you didn't do it in the first time. Kicking up and over again. You just wanna make sure that you keep your upper body up, locking those arms out. You don't wanna lean forward as you lift your leg up. That way you feel the squeeze in your glute as you go up. Really kick it up as high as you can and then bring it over to the side. Good. Keeping that upper body up, breathing, engaging your core as you bring that leg up and over. It's time for some mermaid. And if you're like me, you needed a break on your wrist, okay? So we're gonna start laying all the way flat on the ground. You can keep your head up the entire time. You're gonna lift your arms and shoulders up as well as your chest and your legs using your pelvis as a fulcrum, okay? So you're gonna inhale. 
pushing the air out as you bring your limbs up. Laying back down, inhale and bringing everything up, squeeze. Good. All right, we've got push-ups. And again, if you have diastasis recti, I suggest that you modify and start on your knees. Otherwise, feel free to go into plank position and drop down into a formal push-up. I'm going to demonstrate modified push-ups. So you wanna start on your knees, lean a little bit forward. Make sure that all of your body weight is forward. We don't want our booties in the air. We wanna lean forward, really working those triceps in our chest, all right? Dropping down, coming up, locking all the way out at the top. Now it's time for the awkward plane. This is very similar to the bird dog. We wanna lift up, but we're gonna go out. Woo! And bring it back, and then bring it back down. Alternating up, out, and bring it back, and bring it back down. This one is really challenging your core, especially when you go out because you don't want to drop your head, you don't want to drop your shoulders, keeping those limbs locked as you reach out. It's called awkward plane for a reason. And we're gonna do a cat cow. We're gonna start on all fours, palms on the ground, leaning forward, flat backs, and then we're gonna bend and raise that back, inhaling, and then we're gonna exhale. Into the cow, looking up as we do it. Nice arch in the back, pushing those hips back, pushing through, making sure we lock those elbows again. Bending, inhaling, and exhaling, looking up. Next, we've got kneeling hip circles. Again, we're gonna get into that all fours position. Good. And then we're gonna swivel around, pushing those hip back, hips Pushing those hips back, we're only gonna go in one direction. Working your wrists and working your hips. You can get loose with it, it doesn't have to be as strict. You can kind of move side to side, roll your head, loosen up your neck. Really get into it. Make sure you're breathing. Again, pushing those hips all the way back. All right, we're ready to go in the opposite direction this time. Pushing back, opening up those hips, rolling forward, moving your wrists, really stretching it out, loosening up, relaxing. Awesome job. Making sure you push those hips back. Again, if you feel any tenderness under your knees, you can roll up a towel and place it under your mat. Awesome job. All right, now we're gonna go into child's pose. You're gonna start on your knees. You're going to come on to all fours. You're going to spread your knees a little bit wider than your hips and you're gonna bring your toes together. And then you're gonna push your hips back as you stretch out and you will lay your head down on the mat and relax. You're stretching out your shoulders, 
you're stretching out your hips, sitting back into the pose. Again, your knees are wide and your toes are touching. Inhaling and exhaling the whole time, stretching out those shoulders, really relax into the pose. Awesome job today. Thank you for showing up. I'm really proud of you. Make sure that you like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next workout. I'll see you next time.